Hello. I'm just having a look at this Samsung for a customer. What, what, a customer stroke somebody that lives literally down the road, even though they didn't know I repaired TVs. They were down the road and they rang up the main workshop number and said, whereabouts are you? And I told them where I was and they said, oh, OK. <laughs> and they, I mean, they did drive to me, but they could literally just pick the TV up and bring it to me. Anyway, that's by the by. That's got nothing to do with... Um, what I'm talking to you about here. Let's just have a look at this. Let me show you what this is. Yes, it is a TV. And I'll show you the model number because this really is a shame on Samsung. This is a UE43 TU 71 it's basically all you need to know 43 standing for it's a 43 inch tv and basically i mean th this is as as new tv as you will possibly find um anywhere it's 18 months old and i can tell you it's 18 months old not just by the customer because the customer said it was three she thought it was three years old but she hasn't had it three years old uh, because there's a date stamped inside and it's a um, it's a late 2020 date, and this is early 2022. So uh, this is one of those that's got no screws in the back, apart from how bizarre is this? Two tiny little screws, which one goes in there, and one goes in um, the other side, just there. So is this Samsung's very slow way of getting back to using screws? So what you have to do is use a pry tool or a screwdriver. You can use a Samsung official tool, but you can just use a screwdriver. Pry in gently and get it off. I say gently. It's quite hard to pry on these gently. Oh, I haven't showed you what the TV is doing, have I? That just won't do. Um, my apologies. Right, okay. Are we switched off? Yes, we are. It's one of these what I call mono boards. I call them mono boards. Nobody else calls them mono boards. Let me just switch to the um, mono boards where everything's in one. You get the power supply and the main board all in one board. So if it fails, and for a moment I was rather hoping it was a failure of a board, because you can pick these up at a reasonable price. But we have a screen failure on this. After 18 months, a screen failure. Can you believe it? Me? Can you believe it? Right. I mean, the screen is a bit yucky and mucky so i'll just bring the mobile cam here and then let's just set that up so you can see it right sorry i've covered the screen up which is also my monitor so I'm going to turn all the lights out, all, all, all the main lights out anyway. I've got a lot of the studio lights on. You'll probably see the back lights come up. And there they did. Maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't. And now the back lights aren't up. And in a second the back lights will come back up again. So it's kind of rebooting itself. It's doing a power recycle. There it is, look, so it's backlights back on and off and you'll be able to see I mean 18 months Amazing Still a lot of lights in here. I've got all the other studio lights on, which I can't, um, I can't turn off. But I can turn them away to see if that helps a little bit. 
and then if I put the other camera on you can see or you will see the backlights jumping up occasionally so just be patient and again it will power cycle bring on the backlights there we go and the backlights go off again So when it comes to this sort of thing, you hope and pray that it's a main board. What I'll do, I'll, um, I'm just going to disconnect the screen. Are you ready? Screen disconnected. And the backlights come up and stay up. He said, lying. They've gone off. But they should come back on. They get confused. Now they've stayed. No, they're not staying on. Oh, that's pretty good news. Maybe I should have switched it off and switched it back on again, but there we go. It's taking some time, but the backlights are now staying on. And if I, if I switch the TV off and switch the TV back on, the backlights will come on and off for a bit, but then they'll settle on. I don't know if you heard that, but I just heard the Samsung chime, which we didn't hear when we had the screen plugged in. So I'm going to plug the screen in. And as soon as the screen is plugged in, watch the backlights. Good night. It's just one feed, one 4K feed into the screen, which that screen links to this. If I just lift off this speaker, I'm just gonna switch off for a second. So you can see a tab link here. You see a cough link? There. Now, watch what happens if I disconnect the right hand side of the screen. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not seeing, well, you are seeing it. Yes, yeah, sorry, you're just not, you're seeing it on the small screen, not the big screen. Not the big screen. Anyway. So we've disconnected the right hand side of the screen. You may have noticed that the backlights have come up. And they're possibly going to stay up for you. There they go. I may even get a chime. Yes, I just did. So we've disconnected half the screen. Actually, we haven't disconnected half the screen. We've disconnected a third of the screen. It's the way that it works on these new TVs. It used to be half and half. Um, well, I'll show you what I mean. Just in case you think I've gone mad. And look. So, I'll have to switch some lights on. That's the halfway point. In fact, yeah, that's halfway there. Because you can see the Samsung logo in the bottom but we get more than half but the TV works absolutely fine with just that tab connected it's a screen issue there is a short on this side um, and there's nothing can be done as soon as I plug it back in it will it will disconnect after 18 months that's not very good Samsung is it what do we recommend to customers when this happens? We recommend that they go back to the place they bought it from and stamp their feet. Um, the customer says, well, it was three years, but if you have a look there, the screen was manufactured on the 12th of May, 2020. 
Well, it's well, it's just coming up to two years, isn't it? Sorry, my my um, maths was um, was out a bit. It's it's now April, so that is just coming up to two years old. Still not good enough. So stamp your feet. I will tell the customer. It does take a bit of feet stamping, but eventually you will get it sorted. There's no judge in the world would allow somebody to spend, and this must have been four to five hundred pounds, because it's a Samsung, it's a 43 inch, it's 4K, it's um, 23 months old. <laughs> Sorry, I've had to change that for legal reasons. And it should not have failed. Um, not spectacularly like that. Sometimes you can argue if the backlights have, um, have given up but not like this. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Awful. So come on, Samsung. Sort it out. Um, I wonder if we're going to see any more models like this. Not good, is it? Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. Sorry to the customer that it, um, it can't be repaired, but um, nothing much I can do, unfortunately. Apart from say, thank you very much for watching. Take care.